Good morning. Today is Friday the 1st of May and this is our English lesson and it's our last one just before the weekend. So well done for doing your work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The stuff that we're going to need for today is just the same as the stuff we've been using for the whole week. Paper, orange book if you have it, a pencil and if you want to take part in the challenge, again you need your art supplies, whatever you're using. So if you're starting a new page, write today's date up the top and underline it. So if you have a ruler, if you're working on paper, just write the date at the top of the piece of paper. And remember, it is the 1st of May. We've made it to a new month. Okay, our spelling for the week is our homophones. So remember, a homophone is a word that sounds the same as other words, but it has different meanings and you spell it differently. So we have two to, there, 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 new, and new, no, and no. So choose whatever spelling task you'd like to do. Stop the video and do your spelling task just now. Okay, our spelling task for today, because it's Friday, it's our spelling test. So you've got two options. If you're working in front of a person in the house, they're going to ask you some of your spelling words and I want you to see if you can spell them correctly and you can check them by going back in the video. If you're working by yourself, that's fine as well. I want you to look at the word, cover the words, say the word, write the words and then check it by yourself. If you make a mistake, that's absolutely fine. Just try and correct it next to it and see if you can remember your correction for the next time. So stop the video and do your spelling test. Okay, for our spag today, our spelling, our punctuation and grammar, our walt, we are learning to use commas in a list. And it's the last day of using commas. We're moving on to something different next week. So you've got a new task today. Can you create sentences using the sentence starter, commas and the images provided? So number one, Courtney bought then you've got three images, a dress, a teddy bear, and some chocolate. So can you put the starter, sentence starter, and the pictures together to make a sentence? You can make it as interesting as you want to. So you could write, Courtney bought a pink dress, a cuddly teddy bear, and a Mars bar. Or you can come up with your own idea. Pause the video just now and do sentence number one. Sentence number two. Amory bought an apple, a banana, a book, some sweets. Again, using the picture in the sentence starter, can you write your own sentence? You can make it as interesting as you want it to be. So it could be something like Amory bought a tasty red apple, comma, a banana, comma, a Harry Potter book, and some delicious sweets. Use your own adjectives, use your own imagination, and put your sentence together. Pause the video just now and do number two. Our last sentence in our spag today, Byron bought, we've got a football, a bike, a video game, and a hamster. You know what to do. Use your own adjectives, use your own imagination, and put it together. And when you finish sentence three, make sure whatever evidence you take, you send to me on Class Dojo. Okay, our waltz, we are learning to write effective sentences using the senses. Now, just like we've done the last few days, pause the video here, go to the description of the video underneath for the Narnia battle, and I want you to watch it again and think about when you're watching the fighting what's going to happen at the end of the battle that is our focus for today's work what do you think is going to happen at the end so stop the video here go and watch the battle okay what we're thinking about for our english today is during a battle if there's two armies you're going to have typically one side declaring victory, they are the winners, and one side declaring defeat. So what I want you to do is split your page in half, just like I've done on the picture, and one title is victory and one title is defeat. Pause the video 
and do that just now? Now, the senses that we're using, we've got eyes for see, and then in purple, we've got an ear for hear. And I want you to think about the type of things that you would hear and you would see from the armies, whoever is victorious and whoever has been defeated. So we'll start with victory first. So draw your eyes onto your page underneath victory, just like I have. And then can you think of at most five things that you might see off the side that are victorious? So I've said maybe people hugging, maybe hands are cheering. People might be waving in celebration. What can you think of? Pause the video here and do your, what you can see for the victorious army. Okay, now that you have done your, what you see for the victorious army, let's think about what you hear. So I said for the victorious army in my story, they're cheering, they're clapping. Can you think of five things that you might hear from the army that have won this battle? What might you hear if you were there? Pause the video, see if you can come up with some ideas. Okay, we're moving on to the army that have suffered the defeat. So just like we did on the other side of the page, we're thinking about what we see and what we hear. So army that have been defeated, they're going to be the complete opposite from the victorious army. While the other army might have been celebrating, these people are going to be commiserating. So things that you might see, maybe waving a white flag. So a white flag waving means that they surrender. They might be crying and you can see them crying. So try and think of no more than five things that you would see the defeated army do. Pause the video and start writing them down just now, please. Okay, and to finish off our English for today, what do you hear from the defeated army? So I wrote sobbing, maybe screams. You're going to hear the opposite of what you're hearing from the victorious army. So again, no more than five. What ideas can you think of? Stop the video just now and write down your ideas. All right, for our challenge today, for our artwork, create a piece of art showing the winning army or the defeated side. So if you look, rewind the video a little bit, just to where our English was, we had two armies on the left and an army on the right. One was victorious and one was defeated and you could tell by the colours, the style, the things that you could see in the artwork, which side was which. So you get to design an army that have either just won a battle or that have just been defeated in a battle. And again, if you choose to do the challenge, make sure you send your evidence to me on Class Dojo. Well done, enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend when it comes.